Oh yeah, speaking of ads, did you guys see this beautiful new thing? I tweeted about it this morning. Apparently this is a thing that Amazon is currently testing in New World, which is a company that also owns Twitch. Let me let me play you this video that was posted on uh, on Twitter last night. He used to join, yep. Yeah. We There it was. Yo, chat, did you see that? How cool is that? Chat, hold on. Cool, very cool. So, it's a little difficult to see, but this thing on the wall is an in-game advertisement. Now, here's the kicker. The streamer doesn't see it. Other people in game don't see it either. It's just Twitch. So only people watching the stream would see a f ad on a wall in a city in the game. Now don't get me wrong, the technology is pretty sick. The fact that someone made this is pretty impressive. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously that would be with subs and everything too, yeah. We're gonna basically have Times Square in video games at this rate at some point. It's better than actual ads. Yeah, but like, we all know that it's not gonna go instead of actual, you know, conventional ads. It's gonna be on top of the already existing ads. Which is why I'm not a particularly big fan of it. It's a cool technology, but it's definitely not gonna be one or the other. It's gonna be both. Yeah, dude, you're fighting the final boss in Elden Ring, and in the background, you see the McDonald's logo. <laughs> Hesitation is defeat. In the beautiful, uh, land of Sekiro. Pizza Hut in the background. No, dude. I don't know, man. A video by Giant Grant Games. YouTube ads are getting insane and I hate it. Okay, Grant. Are we gonna watch this? I am a YouTuber. Specifically. Same. I'm a YouTuber who doesn't do in-video sponsorship deals because I think they ruin videos. This means- I- I do every once in a while, but very rarely between 70 and 80 percent of my revenue comes from viewers watching advertisements before and during my videos so i'd like you to keep in mind that i'm heavily biased towards these ads when i say youtube has gone absolutely off the rails with their ads recently actually it's not just recently i'm pretty I sure what youtube is doing right now is basically telling you yo just buy f premium they're almost like guilt tripping you into owning a premium subscription to YouTube. That's essentially what is being done right now. Like if you want to watch videos on YouTube at this point, they're just, yeah, they're just making it as obnoxious as possible. I've become more and more concerned about YouTube's increasingly aggressive desire to force as many ads down people's throats over the last couple years. Every time that YouTube rolls out a new feature relating to ads, generally a way to make you watch more of them, I read comments and I see a ton of misinformation about how all this works. And many YouTubers are intentionally obtuse about it all because they don't want to bite the hand that feeds them. Fortunately, mm -hmm. I'm an idiot, so bite I will. Let's talk about YouTube ads, how much they do or don't help creators, all the different ways to watch less ads, and how those impact you, me, and YouTube. But first, you need to know how ads work. I'm going to give the quick and easy version. There are many more technical details here that just don't matter for this discussion. But first, let me take a moment to talk about our sponsor, YellowFresh. YellowFresh is a meal kit that is delivered straight to your door for a low, low price. Today, we're going to be making their gluten-free, vegan-free soup to show you exactly how easy it is. First, we're going to add the all-natural soup broth with no processing or preservatives. Wow. And remember to stir vigorously. After that, we add some of the delicious produce that YellowFresh is known for. You know, I still find this obnoxious. I'm still not a fan. I know that this is all ironic, but I'm already bored. I usually... Yeah, I usually fast forward through these ad segments. You know what? Okay, so YouTube ads are very obnoxious, right? But one thing I've noticed, I don't know how many of you listen to podcasts, but like the 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 way that the biggest podcasters do it these days. Let me let me draw a line, okay? So say like, I don't know, the biggest podcasts, at least the ones that I listen to, if this is like the the podcast duration, they will have like a ad section right over here that's like 5 minutes long. And then an ad section over here that's like five minutes long. Who listens to that? I don't get it. Like, if you know that you've just selected the podcast you want to listen to that, and you know that roughly the first five minutes are going to be ads, who who doesn't just start over there? Like, I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, I just wanted to point that out. Stir again, and then remember to garnish. Perfect. Looks delicious. Does it Use does? Use my affiliate code Never Skip Pool Day to get 1.3% off of your first purchase. Wow. Yellow Fresh, make your friends green with envy. 
When you click to watch a video, YouTube starts an open auction for the advertisement slot, giving details about the video that's being watched, its expected demographic. Sorry, I have to look. Whenever someone shares what tabs they've got favorited, I need to look. Adopted by an alpaca? Golf ball in nose? Is it Tuesday? Dream shoe review? Okay, that's well played, Grant. Graphics, as well as guesses about your age, country of residence, and other things that it gets based on your viewing patterns. A bunch of bots then bid on the privilege. By the way, it is Tuesday. Just, you know, in case you're wondering, it is. To send you an advertisement, and whoever wins the bid sends it off. YouTube gives 55% of the money they earned to the creator and keeps 45% for themselves. <laughs> Bro, what have you been watching, Grant? All of Grant's recommended videos are just... <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of cooking videos just specifically sandwiches anyways the amount that advertisers are willing to pay changes a lot depending Thank you, lazy. on factors like the viewer's age location and what time of year it is if you've ever noticed that more videos come out in december this is why mm -hmm. advertisers are willing to pay a lot more before christmas than they are in the middle of march the 55 45 split is honestly pretty reasonable YouTube provides a service and algorithm and still gives creators Amazon over disagrees. Half. Compare this to TikTok, <laughs> who in 2021 had a revenue of 4.6 billion and only paid out 200 million, meaning they kept 95% for themselves. The thing oh is, oh my god, did they actually? TikTok kept 95% of ad revenue for themselves. Okay. Ads are incredibly cheap. To earn a dollar on YouTube, it takes between two and 400 views, depending on the video and the demographics. In theory, this would be higher, but the prevalence of things like ad block means that a lot less people are seeing ads, mm -hmm. but the same number of people are watching. And YouTube's solution to this is absolutely senseless and insane. Yeah, they take just cram more ads into the uh, people that are watching them. 300 IQ. I've only ever experienced watching YouTube from the Netherlands, and the Netherlands gets a lot of ads. But if I look at my YouTube analytics, the states get way more. I believe if you live in the USA, you get like twice as many ads as most of the rest of the world gets. Remaining people that are watching ads and punish them by making them watch more ads to make up for the people using ad block. Loco, I got so sick of them, I got premium. That's what I was just talking about. I also got bullied into premium. <laughs> This <laughs> causes people to install ad blockers and YouTube counters by giving even more ads to their viewers. Yeah. It's a ridiculous system that actively punishes people who are doing what YouTube wants them to. And now YouTube is experimenting with adding five ads before videos. Mm. And some people are reporting seeing up to 10. And those are just the ads before the video. There are also mid-roll ads, the advertisements that interrupt videos to play, like this. What goes bump in the night? It might be your gifted child. Register your child at PsyOps today. It's the law. It's your duty. This is literally an advertisement in the Wings of Liberty campaign. Literally. I used to have all of these off on my channel. They're awful. But then, a year or so ago, YouTube came out and said, Hey, if you're not properly putting advertisements inside of your videos, we'll do it for you and take all the money. YouTube does have a nice tool that helps creators place mid-roll ads into videos. It will scan for fades to black with little audio, natural transition points, and then place an ad there for you. Mm -hmm. Well, it would be a nice tool if it weren't for the fact that it's ridiculously aggressive. Take it a look really at this is. video from my daily upload channel, Giant Grant Games Archives. This what? This is, this is not aggressive at all. I have uploaded videos specifically to the second channel, where I swear to God, every time I breathe, there's an ad break, which... Like, literally, like, three times a minute. Okay, I breathe more frequently than that, but you get what I'm trying to say. I have quite literally seen this entire bar, which indicates mid-roll ads. And Gabe can, like, let you know as well. I've just seen it, like, filled in. Pretty much, pretty much filled in. It, it's, it's crazy. This is the trimmed down ad version that I have. Yeah. I try to keep it most one ad per 15 to 20 minutes. But if I click this button to revert it to YouTube's defaults, it wants me to show 13 ads in a 40 minute video. Mm -hmm. This is an ad every three minutes. It's not reasonable. A few months back, I was looking at old uploads on the channel and found- So just to clarify, right? Grant could quite literally double his income by doubling the amount of ads that he plays. And he is currently playing an ad every 15, 16, 17 minutes. At this point, like, it's become very normalized to play ads every three minutes on YouTube, it seems. Now, I don't play that many, but you certainly, especially if you upload short-form content, you will definitely see an ad every couple of minutes. Luckily, you know, 
me and Grant make longer videos, so it doesn't really. But anyways, the ad version. Like imagine, imagine you were in his shoes right now. Would you play more ads? I play more ads than this for sure. I have. I try to keep it at most one ad per 15 to 20 minutes. But if I click this button to revert it to YouTube's defaults, it wants me to show 13 ads in a 40 minute video. This is an ad every three minutes. Yeah, that's crazy. It's not reasonable. A few months back, I was looking at old uploads on the channel and found some videos with a ton of downvotes. This made me curious. On YouTube, you can't earn revenue from videos until you have 1,000 subscribers and have become partnered. You can't tinker with the advertisement settings or anything. They're all off by default. Apparently, once you become partnered, YouTube flips that switch for all of your old videos and automatically places these insane amounts of ads. If the system gets aggressive enough, old videos are completely unwatchable. I had to go back and spend hours fixing things because of You want to hear my worst case scenario of ads? I was following along recently. I've been trying to not be an old, inflexible man. So I was following along recently with a YouTube series with like a daily yoga session. And I swear to God, this one lady was uploading yoga videos with mid-roll ads in them. Now, I don't know if that was on purpose or not, <laughs> but it doesn't work. Like, you c no, it wasn't. No, 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 chat. That's all you heard. That's all. You Anyways, it's, it's obnoxious. It's very annoying. Horrible it was. Ideally, I could have just turned monetization off for these videos. They're old and have very few people watching them at this point. But remember, YouTube says if you don't monetize your videos, they will. So turning off monetization wouldn't actually change the ads, it would just change if I'm getting a cut. So instead, I had to take the hours that I could be making actual content for YouTube that they would actually promote to a large number of viewers and would benefit everybody, instead spending it trying to make old content watchable. <laughs> this doesn't work for anybody. No. I just want people to enjoy my videos. That's it. I don't do in-video sponsorships because I think they make videos bad. I try to minimize mid-roll ads for the same reason. And yet, many of you have had to endure a slog of ads to get here, and I hate it. So let's talk about solutions, as well as the costs and benefits of each. The easy answer for many is get an ad blocker. Ublock mm -hmm. Origin is by far the best in this regard. It's free, lightweight, never pops up asking for donations, and is consistently kept this up doesn't, to date by So the that works on PC, but obviously it doesn't work on mobile. Uh, I'm sure there is some, some way to make it work on Android, but... It's not really a solution for the vast majority of users because even though a lot of people used to watch videos on desktop, that is no longer really the case. Like it's really shifted over time. Now the vast majority of people either watch on mobile or on tablet or on their television or whatever. Team of volunteers. If you just want ads gone, <laughs> wait, is, a... is Grant sponsored by Ublock Origin? I knew it. I believe you have to disclose if you're advertising, uh, Grant. Hello, where is the ooh? Someone called the Federal Trade... Okay, no, but it no, does no, no. have a couple downsides. The main one for me is that creators are left high and dry. We don't get anything from an ad Yeah, no, video. it sucks. Now, as I said earlier, the revenue from a single video is a fraction of a penny. A single ad block isn't much. But when two-thirds of millennials and Gen Z use ad block, that's two-thirds of the revenue gone. There's also another browser extension called Sponsor Block, which mm -hmm. skips through sponsored segments in YouTube videos. It even keeps a rolling total of how much sponsored stuff you've skipped. Over the time I've used it, I've apparently saved 24 hours of listening to ads. <laughs> nice. Theoretically, this plugin also stops creators from getting commissions off of you signing up to a sponsored service, but if you were looking for ways to skip these ads, you probably weren't interested in Raid Squarespace Legends only on Audible anyway. But soon, Adblock won't work on its own. Most people use Google Chrome as their web browser, and in 2023, Chrome is getting rid of ad blocking capability. Not yep. a surprise, given YouTube and Chrome are both owned by Google. There are multiple other options for browsers, but there is These a are all Chromium. trap here. Many browsers <laughs> like Brave, Vivaldi, and Microsoft Edge all use Chromium as a base. Yep. This means that Google has potential leverage over them. I could totally see a future where these browsers are forced to remove ad blocking in order to keep their licenses. There is one universally available option that has nothing to do with Chrome. Firefox. And for many of us, it's an old, forgotten friend. Firefox. Back in the days before Chrome, Firefox was the cool kid's browser. They have a focus on privacy and aren't owned by any megacorp. It turns out they've just been chilling for the past 10 years, and honestly, it just feels like Chrome. I'm not going to lie and make it seem like it's some awesome thing. It's just a web browser, dude. It uses less RAM than Chrome, and it's a risk-free, easy switch. But what about the ways to skip ads and still support creators? <laughs> this is where YouTube Premium comes in. Kind of. 
YouTube kind Premium of, is yeah. a monthly subscription service that allows you to avoid ads on all platforms, gives you access to YouTube music, download videos, and you can play YouTube videos. Wait, is Grant advertising YouTube? Oh, okay, sorry, when sorry. the app is minimized on your phone or tablet. One awesome thing about YouTube Premium is that it pays creators. YouTube tallies up how much you watch of various creators. I actually, um, I've seen the number go up quite a bit. I don't look at my YouTube analytics all too much, but the ad share you get from people that use premium is very significant. Like if you get like, you know, a fraction of a penny for every regular viewer watching, I don't know exactly how it scales. Maybe Grant has done a little bit of research in that and he's just about to mention that, but premium viewers generate way more income. And then divvies up some of the subscription fee to them. I really wish premium were a good solution, but the problem is how horrible YouTube is at managing it. The only option being 12 bucks a month is both pricey and inflexible. Like, I don't need YouTube music, why am I paying for it? And yeah. I definitely don't need to download videos. Are they expecting me to download 10 hours of Neancat so I can watch it while I go camping? Yes. It's pretty obvious that premium comes bundled with a bunch of stuff that people don't care about so they can make it more expensive. To cap it all off, YouTube seems to be gutting normal features and adding them to premium. You used to be able mm -hmm. to watch 4K normally, but now some devices need premium to do so. If YouTube were using premium money to develop new and cool things for premium users, I would absolutely support it. But stripping away things people are already using and putting them behind a paywall is super scummy. It's a shame. Premium mm -hmm. is close to being great, but the lack of pricing options and sketchy behavior makes it tough to recommend. If you want to use an ad blocker but also support a creator, there are a few options to do that. The first one that always gets touted by YouTubers, and for good reason, is Patreon. Patreon is a monthly subscription service. Creators set up tiers and you can join one. I love Kurt Kazak, by the way. Kurt Kazak is fantastic. Monthly fee and sometimes get rewards. Mostly just a shout out or having your name appear in a video. The nice thing about Patreon is they generally give the creator between 90 and 95% of the money. Mm -hmm. It's also reliable and independent of views, meaning that creators can feel safer to not chase the algorithm, instead making things they want to and think that their yep. fan bases will like. It is worth Love mentioning Patreon. that if you subscribe to someone on Patreon, they can see your email. Although Patreon, Generally, it has some shaky things as well over the last couple of years. Yeah, I don't really want to get into the details. This is not an issue, but it might matter to someone, so I thought I'd toss it out there. Another option is a one-time PayPal donation. Well, it's sometimes an option. PayPal generally works fine with low fees if you are doing a donation of a couple dollars or more. But if you want to send a little bit of change to a creator, then the fees are insane. Here's a donation I was given for 89 cents, where PayPal took two-thirds of it in fees. <laughs> this does only happen with small transactions, but it's totally lame. PayPal is also pretty sketchy in terms of privacy. Yep. If you send someone money, they can see the name associated with your account, email associated, and if you have a shipping address, which for most people is also their home address, that can be seen as well. Does it matter? Probably not, but I think you deserve to know just in case. There are also YouTube channel memberships. So the problem with, with like one-time donations like that too, right? While they are, of course, awesome, most people have continuous bills that they that they have to get right so it's not a particularly reliable monthly way to make a, a living as a as a creator right because i have i've had months where i get like you know a thousand bucks in donations although extremely uncommon but most months it is significantly less than that and some months it's like 20 bucks the skill and the consistency is yeah, very hard to say. Plus, plus, especially with the the downturn of the economy and all that, you know, like a lot of people right now uh, are are trying to save some money because gas prices and, and you know uh, electricity and any power and every, everything is getting really f expensive. And obviously, believe it or not, this is crazy. But the thing that people cut first is donating to random people on the internet. I know, cra <laughs> crazy stuff. So it's it's not really a solution. Any channel with them enabled, you can join. There are different pricing tiers and in theory rewards, but it's basically just Patreon at home. The channel owner gets 70% of the money and YouTube gets 30%. You cut food. It helps support <laughs> You both cut creators. food. Please don't cut food. <laughs> ...and the platform, but I feel like memberships should like give ad block to the channel or something. Yes. The only benefit I would that love YouTube that. is giving for that 30% cut is making it slightly more convenient than Patreon. So what's the answer here? Well, there's a ton of options, and everybody's situation is you just get Firefox and use Adblock. If you really like a channel, give them a dollar on Patreon. If YouTube Premium works for you, that's awesome, but it's inflexible, and they need to address that if they want to be a success.
in the end, the large majority of creators I've talked to just want you to watch and enjoy our videos. Mm -hmm. We trust that as long as we're providing good and enjoyable experiences, then things will work out. It's frustrating for yep. both you and us to have to deal with the greed of a multi-billion dollar corporation. And in the end, the optimal solution is almost always the one that you don't have to think about on a day-to-day -day basis. But 100 most importantly, agree. don't waste your life on ads. Your time is worth more than that. No, I 100% agree. Ads are pretty obnoxious. Wait, someone said I was in this video. Did I miss myself being in the... In the any, anyway. <laughs> There's still 15 seconds remaining. <laughs> Someone said, Loco, watch this. You're in the video. <laughs> Loco, you missed it? Wait, I did? Okay, let's watch it all again. I am a YouTuber. Specifically, I'm a YouTuber. Okay, no, no, I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. No. Here we go. A petty hindrance. <sighs> all right. Advance. Wait! The conflagration must be stopped. The librarian must be destroyed. That's a different boss! That is not the tentacle guy! Or tentacle? I mean divine dude that came from like... I have not fought the librarian before. As a matter of fact, in real life, never even considered it. I think fighting a librarian is probably not a great idea. I do think I could probably beat the average librarian though. In uh, an arm wrestle duel, 100 meter dash, wrestling, most things really. So he's got stacks of books and stacks of damaged books. These books have 30 hit points, these have 45. The librarian only has 160. He's got a whole lot of abilities and they're all question marks. The books have HP. The books are Harry Potter, yes. So, they have incredibly high blight resist, which is like, I lit. oh, they don't have a lot of burn resist. All right, you know what? You guys just take a little In bit crisis, of a buff, I guess. We can rely only Page burner? Each other. Yo! I can burn the books. This, this is bad. Like, I don't, I don't, okay, fine, burn them. Categorize. <laughs> of course, the librarian has an attack called categorize. I'm not surprised. I can pull the books. Oh, I missed. Don't know how I missed. It's quite impressive. So we'll combo that. Yep, these are also burning. Oh, he. Okay, he just killed his books. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing, bro. What if we let it all burn? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Categorize actually arranges my party alphabetically. Does it really? So bunny, bunnies are currently in front. Oh my God, I think you might be right. That's pretty funny. I thought maybe it would categorize it by um by uh, class, but not quite. Good as new. All right. Should be able to now start gliding him. So that should be really good. I think we'll just hack him. Hack it, dude. And you know what? This is not bad. Steady yourself. Ooh, hell of a blow. I don't know what happens when all the books disappear. Mandatory reading? Oh no. Horrible. That's what put me off of reading for a very long time in school. The mandatory reading part. That was a terrible idea. I don't know why they do that. Okay, so I destroyed the books. Was that a misplay or over, you know, brilliant? Reading is awesome. Yeah, I agree. But it took me about 10 years after mandatory reading was over for me to like pick up a book and read it again. What's he doing? He 
missed. What a loser. It was a prank! Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Is he gonna stop doing that ability or like what? No? And now, the greatest test of all. He's just like, he's just doing the same attack over and over and over again. So maybe I shouldn't have killed the books, guys. Killing the books was probably a mistake. Yeah, yeah, now I know. So as soon as the books died, everything went terribly. Don't bleed. Oh my god. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. He's got to do that attack four times in a row again, isn't he? I think he can probably the only use that when death. he's in the front position. Yeah. Redemptive and transcendent. Okay, so within the lair, there's different kinds of enemies. He will drift among the stars. Do not despair. There is nobility in the attempt. I got one entire candle. Very nice. <sighs> Team Bunny. Absolutely destroyed. Bunny Warren. Murdered on his birthday. How many souls are lost? Am I a bad guy? In this lightless obscurity. The books were protecting me. I killed the books. I should not have done that. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno! I can't swing my, uh, my weapon. Milo! <laughs> Wait! Take this one back. No! The next bad guy in the game is... Go, pig! Oh, I will. Soon. I want quiet. Kill any trespassers. Damn it. Bro. Let's see. The by the looks of it. The slavers. They capture people and sell them like animals. Really? But that won't stop us. Poor Milo, man. How dare you? This guy went straight to choking me. What the f is that all about? Bastard. Okay. We roasted him pretty hard. I hurt. I'm fine, but then Nobody else noticed? Let's not waste time. I think this is the new tall grass, guys. I am a stealth master. Try using stealth, Loco? I am. Ooh, that guy has a helmet, though. Yikes. Don't know what to do against helmets, guys. Well, I have a crossbow, but... Ooh, another helmet! Dang it! What's wrong? Okay. 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 What about this last guy? Oh, he also has a helmet. Helmet guys. Super OP. No, no, no. Shooting him in the chest, balls, armpit, doesn't matter, okay? None of that is relevant. If they have a helmet on, they do not die. Unless it's a crossbow bolt. I have a bolt now, so I think I'm I'm probably fine. Get that lady away. What is he going to do to her? Try not to think about that. Quiet. Okay. Stealth successful. Nobody knows we were here because they're all dead. This guy doesn't have a helmet on. 
prime target for my slink! No, 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 don't worry. Helmet or no helmet? No helmet, no helmet. No helmet. Okay. No helmet, no problem. No, don't worry about him. He's dumb as hell. Oh. Never mind, bro. It was a prank. Jeez, dude. I think I can probably stab this guy. There you go. The f it's like Call of Duty all over again. Call of Duty 4. Remember the martyr down perk? Where you drop a grenade when you die? Very weird. I'm not exactly sure what the uh, reference to that was, but... I like, by the way, how Hugo was like, Amicia! While he's literally in the fire. No, my allies are invisible. They do not exist, according to the game. Just like my friends. Entirely imaginary. Why are there slavers? Why are yeah. They're everywhere. Just like murderous traitors. Yeah, you I wish it wasn't the case, but it is what it is. Yes. Are guys in the chat even real? I don't know. It wouldn't be too hard to make an artificial intelligence appear like a human in the chat. I mean, all you really need to do is just make innuendos from time to time and post a keg W and an LUL when it's appropriate. For all I know, half of you could be bots. Oh, sorry, bro. This guy drops a grenade when he dies. Am I real? I feel like it's harder to fake me, but I could be fake for sure. If previous message equals Keck W, Echo Keck W. Pretty good. That will get you halfway, uh, halfway into the chat. Maybe I'm just a VTuber with a very realistic looking model. I will say though that you guys appear more realistic than the AI of the guards in this game. There's some representation going on with some of the guards. Maybe I'm secretly Shy Lily. Maybe I'm a deep fake. If suddenly I turn into Barack Obama midstream, would that blow my cover? How do you do, fellow humans? Low, low Obama. <laughs> I need a low Obama emote. Wonder what happened to Basilius. No, no, no. Alias, the answer we need. They don't like Sophia. They don't like the taste of, of Sophia for some reason. Or Hugo, just me. Yeah! Breakfast. Sophia, open us apart. Wait, she can refract Everyone off of this alive. too? No. How? We're not even in line of sight. Okay then. Are you kidding me, bro? My prism isn't getting much light over here. Be careful. Sophia, lights away for us. Okay, Stay I did not me. consider that part. That seemed a little weird. Wait, don't go too far. It's getting too dark for my prism. Open the way for us, Sophia. Stay close to me. We'll never get through that. It works behind pillars, out of line of sight, and everything, dude. Careful. It's barely bright enough for my prism now. Protoss player should have that. It's like, oh no! I can't do it! It's barely bright enough for my prism. Can't use the prism. There's a thing I can light on fire on the other end of this wall. No, no, no. Okay then. Huh? Huh? They're coming straight at us. What the f What the f This guy wasn't here! Open the way for us, Sophia! Everyone stay in the light! Wait, what? I was not in that section of the game! Stay alright, stop. I just No! I did that one! You gotta go up! Are you f kidding me, Sophia? Oh, uh, now suddenly you matter? Are you, like, 
She's been out of the grass, just sitting right next to guards, literally walking through them. Jeez, man. Oh no, I can't do this. I can't do this. I have to do this first because I can't like do one thing and then the next. I have to do the other thing first and then do the next. Stay close to me. We just get oh, no, 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 no. Bunny, it has gotten even dumber. You you'd be surprised. I didn't think it was possible either, man. I see. I go. This way. They know about us. Open the way for us, Sophia. Everyone stay in the light. So for example, I can refract the light using a prism around the corner, out of line of sight. Sophia, open us apart. I'm really trying to, you know. But it's just getting more and more jank. <laughs> Okay, you should seek out and touch to more frustrating game or uh, frustrating games like this. Yeah? It's cathartic for you? I I'm I'm glad, man, I think. Oh, okay. They just saw me right away. Wait, no! Don't tell me to Oh why did they suddenly go way further than they were initially? Why did that yeah. Don't put me back over here. God, man, this is the seventh time I've been in this stupid place. I just want to point out that the first time I got here, that guard wasn't even there. Like, he wasn't in that spot. Assuming we step a little further than this and a little faster. Okay, this is downstairs. Please light this thing. She can't light that. She cannot light that part. Ay, ay, ay. Is that where I need to go? Oh, God. Woo! Whoa! What just happened? Okay. Suddenly, an FPS drop, but it's back. Ah, this is, I think, where I go. I need a 4090. I really do, man. Thank you for understanding. Right, let go. Consider it done. Wait, what? Huh? What just happened? I don't think that was intentional. I think the guy threw a grenade right at the time that I. Whoa, why are we all talking at once? That is funny. Maybe I'm just really bad at games, guys. There's definitely some some of that happening here. Yes, we made it to the next section. Protect one, protect all. That's from the Protector. The Order locked her in here. That's a nice dynasty of morons you got there. Ameno Dorime. Be careful. There might be a spider in there. You go, you go. Just... Yeah. yeah, let's oh let's do that. That's yep, yeah, good idea. This good plan. Again. Why? <sighs> She's angry. Scared for the carrier. He's so young. She wants him back. <sighs> she knows. 
knows where they took him. How do you get all of this? How the do you... sanctuary. The palace. The fort. The map. This is where they took him. Wait. So it's that easy? Under the map. Just like that? Just no, that's not how you do storytelling. Like oh, it even fits around it. Be oh my god. To another protector. Sure. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. Whatever. Just another day in your life. Let's go back to the map. My god, man. Like, there's evidently some work. There's some people working at this company that are very talented, that are very good at making a game. But I guess there's always that guy's cousin who works in hiring, who, you know, <laughs> just. <laughs> There's so many talented people that worked on this game, and then there's some guys that just... It like his work was done anyway. It's like they put all the actual game development budget in the graphics and the voice acting and, and, you know, all of that. And then for some reason, the writing and the dialogue was done by three interns. That's kind of... I, I don't know, man. Like, the overarching story is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, but like a lot of the details just... It doesn't work. Wait, he didn't die? Uh, this is not the best spot to be. Oh, okay. Ac Keep steady. It actually hitting him in the head is bad. Okay, okay, I see. What? Where did this guy come from? Huh? Man! Ah, it's such a shame. Game could have been so sick. He just appeared. It's classic sequel syndrome. Bigger, badder, more action. Yeah, maybe you're right. Has to be done before Halloween. Even though it may not necessarily have been finished yet. Oh, dude, they quite literally come into appearance. I need to end this quickly. They literally do spawn into existence, and apparently one of the locations where they spawn in is right in that little section. No, no, no. Don't die. Okay, counter. There you go. Straight through his chainmail. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, they just f***ing spawn. Don't tell me this is gonna be all the way from the very start again. I think that just. I, I think this is all the way from the very start. I gotta survive until Hugo snaps? Right, but that's not a timer based thing. I'm fairly sure that that is based purely off of the amount of kills that I get. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> no! I'm dead. Oh, never mind. Spare thrower guy did not. Throw the spear. Okay, I think this is the final guy. I'm gonna save. If I can. Um, okay, I have to throw. Nope, nope, don't go up the fing stairs! Are you kidding? Don't f me! Don't, bro! Okay, through the chain mill. Throw the chain mill. That, that, that does the trick. More! Dude, there's four! Thank you, Hugo. Finally, someone doing something. To the sea, quick. Red jam, red jam, red jam. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh uh, oh uh, oh uh, oh. Uh. Chapter 11 The Cradle of Centuries. I think there's 18 chapters in total.
No, no, I think we're at like 60%. 17. Oh, 17. Okay. Let me see the people. It's my fault. It's not. We all know what happened back there. Don't overthink it. Let's get to the map. That's why you came here. Mm, okay. This is where I'm going to wrap it up today. This will soon be over. What a game, guys. After careful consideration, I can indeed confirm that this this is in fact the game. Yeah. I had to think about it for a little bit, but um it is a game. Despite the, uh, the 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 weirdness though, I am enjoying it quite a bit, but mostly for the wrong reasons, I think. Not the ones that the game's developers had intended. Loki, you may have already seen this. Oh my god, no, I have not seen this. You painted Toby? This was Toby when he was a kitten. That's awesome, man. Nice. He was very small. Yeah, now he's, you know, very big and obnoxious. But then he was small and cute. Thank you, Night Dreams. Playing stealth game before the age of 30. Playing stealth games after the age of 30. Bro, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to suggest I'm a face tank? Is that where you're... I wish I could grow a beard as glorious as that. Let's be real, but... Don't worry about being 30. You'll get over it within a decade. 30 Meet does sound kind of old, though. Like, 29 is still, like, you know. But 30 is, like, middle-aged, you know what I mean? At least in my mind, it is, like, significantly older than 29. Like, the step from 28 to 29 is a small one. But from 29 to 30... Much bigger. Loco, being 30 does not make you old. Alright, old man. Hang in there, way, man. I made my own Perry the Probe? I have not seen that. Hell yeah, dude. They actually sell these. Well, not this exact one, but like they sell probes. Probably would have saved you a lot of time, but that's pretty cool. I feel like I would not be able to pull that off very comfortably. It would take a long time. Fishy? Aww. That is a really ugly fish. Sorry to the fish, but like... Its eye is not in the right place, dude. Quality post. Citizens of Core Hall after enduring nuclear holocaust, UED invasions, occupations, Zerk invasion, Odin rampage, another Zerk infestation, and the Mobius Core hybrid invasion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the citizens in Core Hall are going through a rough time, man. Only the best of the best. That's a big present, Loco? Yeah, it looks like it. I'm assuming this is from the Patreon people, huh? This is the next World of Warcraft Epic Edition box? Amazing. Happy birthday by Sumo, Nuke, Rushi, Remuko, Lethrina, Stort, Rextor, Agaring, What If, Pokelex, and CRX. So, by the way, a couple years ago, they got me a coffee machine. The drone? Yeah, we had like a whole lot of stuff. The PlayStation 5 as well, obviously. The packages are getting bigger and bigger every time. It's a door, new television. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but there is so much tape. It's, it's taped like crazy. <laughs> guys, 
What do you think it is? I've seen inside the box, but what do you think it is? Post your guesses in the chat. You're not gonna guess. You're gonna get it wrong 100%. <laughs> Whoa! Really? I'm impressed. I guess you Googled that. Ah. Does it have a basket, Loco? No basket, no. That's really sick, guys. Gotta get off. Yeah, I'm still. White tires? No, no, no. White wool tires? I don't know what that means. Loco, do a wheelie? Bad idea right now. No, no, no. I'll just leave it over here. Yo, that's awesome though, guys. Thank you so much. I don't know where you got a box that big, but... Got to do a live drive around on the Friday, Loco. Sit on the bicycle while you play. Does it have a bell? I think so. Oh. <laughs> So, apparently, apparently the box is not the one that it originally came in. It's a, uh, I'm, oh, I'm like Hector, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, so, thank you so much to the people on the list, man, that's huge. <laughs> Last chance to bike with me, Hector. <laughs> so, we actually, I, I don't have a proper bicycle. This is a thing that I've, I was thinking about buying for a while. Okay, now you must go cycling? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I have, like, two very bicycles one of them is literally older than me and at that point or at this point that says a lot that's awesome man i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it in the back i'm gonna leave it in the background loco mentioned or loran mentioned you'd gain some weight loco is that the reason a gearing i understand dude i think she discovered you have legs loco yeah, yeah, yeah hey thank you guys so much that's huge i appreciate you you know you're getting old when people start to gift you stuff to preserve health kappa you're probably right, Mark Tafus. Yo, that's so sick. I don't know if Jason's here right now. Look at this, guys. Jason apparently drew this. That's exactly the type of shoulders I have, man. Look at that. I'm f***ing built. I'm a giga chat myself right now. So there's a list of Easter eggs in the drawing. D20, NDHD, CRX, D the Hunter, Assassin, a Beaver Zerkling. Bokalex, Rushy Chiro, Strategist, Nuke Official, Drone Rush, Toby One, Starlet Ninjas, Total Biscuit, and Sherlock Holmes. You see Rushy? No, that's just the Giga Chat, right? Oh, here's a D20. There's the Sherlock Holmes, I think. That's the Beaver. <laughs> that's a Pikachu, essentially, right? That has to be, uh, Pokelex, I guess? D, the hunter. Ah, there you go. There's a crossbow and a cross? What would that be? Oh my god, there's a lot more Zerklings over here. Okay, Andy is on the ground right over here. Zerklings are going into a Nidus Worm. Okay, we have a Squirtle. Born Toro or born to... That's the hat. Okay. It's probably TV. Why is... What? <laughs> What's M. Canning doing on the wall? I <laughs> I'm not sure, but he, he's there. There's also... There's a picture of two old people. Or, you know, <laughs> a picture that was taken a long time ago of people that are now old, that were young back then. Is that the Queen? Queen Elizabeth and Philip? Okay. It's true, actually. I do have a picture of M. Canning as well as the Queen Elizabeth and on my wall. This is a uh, little known fact. Oh. <laughs> what the f- Okay, yes. Yes, that's about right. That is 100% true. That's exactly right. 
What do you mean, Keck W? Dude, this is a lot of work. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the old one. There's Andy again. Dude, that's so awesome. Why do I have a massive rocket thing in my... Anyways. Loco, check the tree. Oh, shit, there's a tree. Hold up. Oh, that's Nuke! <laughs> of course, that's Nuke. How silly of me. Did not consider that. Alright, the other side, the other side. Oh my god. That's me riding a Lenny into battle. Love to see it, man. This is this has become an annual thing now, dude. That's so sick. Is that a strobe waffle? I think that's supposed to be a strobe waffle right there. It's got a chain. I don't, I don't really know why, but... Hey, there's the tuba man himself. No, no, it's strobe waffle, not stroop waffle. Strobe waffle. Jason. Dude. Completed on the 6th of October 2022. Or the 16th? No, no, no. I think that's part of the tree right over there. That's so cool. Yo, thank you very much. That's so sick. I'm gonna save that for sure. June 10th? No, no. No. It is not June 10th. It clearly said 6th of October, okay? Hey, thank you so very much, Jason. That's super sick. So there's actually a description of every single one of the Easter eggs in this game. There's a lot of references. Look at this. Loco didn't get the low train in the first drawing, so I included it again. You might remember that since the second drawing, I always draw a waffle with a knife. Yeah, it's got a chain, man. This is because of an incident where Fluffy Waffle was asking who I was in the birthday server and if he could remove me. <laughs> yeah, there's a, um, there's a server that has a bunch of people from the community in it that does not include me. I, I'm, not, I'm not welcome there. Like, their channel icon is literally a picture of me with a huge X through my face. No locos allowed. Yeah, it's like called Loco Free Zone or something. I don't know what the channel is called, but something like that. That's a lie, Loco. That server does not exist. The Zirkling who bit a marine. Okay. Cardboard. Nobody expects Jason to draw again, not even Jason. For this start, I gotta say I did not want to draw. It's been a long time and I didn't practice since. Yo, damn. You did a really good job, man. I was preoccupied making and working on my own game. It brought back memories of playing SC2 every day and goofing around with people in the clan. Yo. I prepared read books on how to draw well and practiced. The result is in front of you. Thank you, Loco, for the good times. Thank you, old friend. Man, this is sick. This is really cool. Thank you so much for making that. That's awesome. And you got the shoulders perfectly right, man. That That's, yeah, that is 100% accurate. If I were to take steroids. But uh, uh, no, no, it's 100% accurate. Loco, happy birthday. Congrats on hitting adulthood. Thanks, man. I can't believe you guys give me a bicycle. <laughs> I need to know how this was coordinated. <laughs> how did you pull that off? <laughs> I just bought a bicycle. That's so silly. It's a great gift. Yeah, it's really good. Basically right now, I have a bicycle, but it's super old. And it's for people that are like two foot shorter than me. So whenever me and Loran go anywhere, not only does the bicycle make a lot of noise and, you know, I have to pedal really hard just to try and keep up because, well, the wheels are tiny. <laughs> it's also just much shorter, so Loran sticks, you know, way above me. It's, 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 yeah. Losing four games in a row, I am a fighter, not a quitter. Scouting Forge first, I am resigning. Alright, see, that's good, that's funny, I like that. Oh my god. Whoa! What the hell? That's so sick! Where are his arms? I think his arms are on his chest. I think he's probably standing like this. There's no way those arms are controlled, right? Am I crazy? <laughs> really StarCraft goes. <laughs> Yeah, for those of you that missed it, a bunch of a bunch of people, I think what they did is they went to a museum, they threw canned tomato soup at a Van Gogh painting, and then they glued themselves to the wall. Somehow for climate change. I <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really. It's a bit of a stretch, but um, 
Look, Van Gogh was a painter. He used oil paint for his, you know, work. And because of that, the oil could all, it's different kind of oil. Mm. The painting, by the way, was behind a glass panel. So, you know, they probably just cleaned the glass. <laughs> Some people did that to the Porsche factory. They just turned off the lights and went home. That's funny. Scarlet doing an extractor trick in StarCraft 64. Sounds better. <laughs> well, yeah, what kind of question yeah, is yeah, that? Yeah, why? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I just like the, the Terran's got like the, the sick guitar riff. It's got the nice uh, yeah, the drum Yeah, but in the I, back. Think I like the kind of like, weird <laughs> sounds. So slow. Yeah. Did you just do an extractor trick yeah, then? Extractor in Nintendo? <laughs> Nintendo 64. StarCraft exists. Yes, StarCraft 64 is actually a game. It's as bad as you'd imagine. How I feel at the start of every 4v4, everyone will betray you. There you go, Rexor. This one's for you, man. Look, here's the Taiga suit moving. Wait, what? His arms are in there? Nice quality, by the way, Reddit. What the f***? How are his arms in there? Dude, no way. Cosplay in 2022 is just, it's gone, like, it's gone to such an insane level. Wait, show the part at the beginning again. Interesting. So his arms are like, they end like right there. That's so sick though. It looks uncomfortable. That's not the point. I don't think he shows up to work in this outfit. I hope. Oh yeah, slash r slash Finland conspiracy. This is a subreddit designed to announce and share the truth about the conspiracy that is the country, quote unquote, Finland. Let's see. This year, most upvoted. Oh. Finland's prime minister is 36 years old, went out clubbing till 4 a.m., left her work phone at home, and was therefore unreachable to get a text telling her she needed to quarantine. <laughs> Finland to introduce a four-day work week and six-hour days under plans drawn by 34-year-old prime minister. Oh, no. In Finland, you're given a top hat and a sword when you get your PhD. I think we should have this around the world in general. Like, at least you have a reason to get it at that point, you know? If I knew I was gonna get a sword and a top hat at the end of, of things, maybe I'd consider it, you know, at least if I was... It would at least help me over the edge, you know what I mean? Awful taste, but great execution. For everything that displays quality craftsmanship in the least elegant way possible. What is... <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I wasn't sure what to expect. <laughs> What's the matter, babe? You haven't touched your Shrekfest? <laughs> Gingerbread crack house. Uh, a microscopic toilet created for a micrograph competition? That's a thing? Custom limousines? Oh my god. What? That doesn't even look real. Bad guy table? Alright. CVS receipt scarf? Ah! No, that's awful. Get it off my screen. This watch from the 80s. Where's the movement? How does it work? Why so hairy? That's the average guy posting a watch on the internet, okay? Either they have like, you know, the craziest wrist, incredibly hairy, or they have absolutely no hair whatsoever. That's kind of the general, the general rule of thumb. <laughs> Here's one, for example. When you buy a sub for your golden retriever, there it is, man. Someone, <laughs> someone put a f filter over their wrist shot. <laughs> it does. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, bro. There are some horrible things on this subreddit. My uncle has Alzheimer's and is often forgetful of his possessions. One of them is a Rolex Submariner. Would I be justified in taking and caring for it as my own instead of having it left neglected and forgotten in his jewelry box? Thanks. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. We we just we 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 just no. We we just can't. No, we it's not. We can't. 
I saw I saw the thing happening to 4090s. Yeah, I don't know where on what subreddit that was, but um, apparently the eight pin connectors or what is it? 12 pin, whatever they're using these days. Apparently the, the connectors that connect the power supply to the graphics card, apparently they have literally been melting <laughs> on the 4090s. Like the 4090s run so hot that apparently, yeah, they did not test that properly. How in the world did they, how, like, how did they not? Yeah, yeah, there's pictures of it literally being melted. Like, can someone find the picture? 16 pin connector melted in a 4090. Yeah, so imagine spending like over 2000 bucks or whatever on a, on a graphics card only to find out that you're now a beta user. Yeah, the most expensive consumer graphics card you can buy. It's so stupid. It's, it's honestly stupid. But this is not an 8-pin connector. Maybe some of them... Apparently the Asus one maybe using a 12-pin one? I'm not sure. Anyhow. Yeah, it's not supposed to happen. What's funny as well is that like this is like the cheapest looking cable ever, right? Like you buy such an expensive card and you have this like stupid plasticky looking thing. Guess I'll focus my attention on AMD cards instead. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> oh no, this one's even worse. That is on the graphics card itself. <laughs> oh, <f> me. <laughs> Ouch. That hurts. I told you guys it was going to be a horror stream. Anyways, I'll uh, get it off the screen before, you know, chat starts crying. We don't want that. You're glad you got... Yeah, dude. You should... Well, obviously it's caught within warranty, right? But like, then you're going to have to send it back. Like, you'll probably get it. Like, you'll get a new one, right? They'll fix it. You'll pro they'll probably hook you up, but it's going to take like two months. You probably need to, like, maybe even get, like, a new power supply. It depends on what part of the thing is melted, but you'd have to get a new power supply. And you can't just replace the one cable, right? You'd have to replace the whole thing. Which is a pain in the dick, because you'd have to open up your computer and basically take everything. Uh, it's, it's just annoying. Girls versus boys commanding capital ships in StarCraft? Oh, no. What are we... Okay, fine, I'll watch it. Do I not watch this? Watch it, Loco. Alright, Garth Thor, it's Tom the dog, Garth and Thor. I just met you today, and, um, thanks for being there. <laughs> thanks, thanks for being there! <laughs> it just died. You didn't control it. <laughs> Tassadar has been killed! That's not Tassadar! Execute Tassadar maneuver. I will steer the Gantry Thor into a collision course with Yof. <laughs> right. Here, here he comes! Oh my god. Can we hear Grant's amazing oh, voice? Grant <laughs> Here it comes! <laughs> Here comes the Ganthrothor! He's coming! Oh lord, he's coming! This has got 25,000 or 20,000 views in two days? It's important. Gotta leave my mark in the YouTube comments section. There goes the algorithm. Now it's got 30,000 views. Actually interesting. You should check back in like a day. See see how well it does. Let me just double check real quick if today's video is ready to go up. Is yours to travel. Oh, ha, YouTube pulled a YouTube, guys. This is the uh, automated ad breaks that they put on the video. It's about as many ads as video now. That's, that's a little redundant, YouTube. Not a huge fan of that. I'll remove about half of them. YouTube is like, would you like some ads with your ads? How about some ads? <laughs> would you like to have more ads? But what about ads? <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like ads. So I put some ads with your ads. Exhibit, that's a long time ago. Half of the ads will be like, buy premium, you cheap. That's about half the YouTube ads, right? Anyways, yeah, they're trying to bully you into it. Don't don't take the bait, man. Or do. I've fallen for the bait. I did take the bait myself. Fear Dragon came across this great website, guys. I had to laugh. It didn't really work for my for my thing, but he tweeted about this like two days ago. I think an AI could actually replace me. Apparently there's an AI that can write tweets for you. So an AI looks at your profile and then writes a tweet that you could have written. So this is apparently one of them. 
So I am 0-0 in tournaments against Serral. Unbelievable. That is 100% something that Ravi would tweet. So this is another one. So Zerk has to blink stalkers. A blink 182. <laughs> it's so dumb. But it's so fun. So the website is right over here. Tweethunter.io. So I tried it for mine. And for me, it just gives these weird motivational speech type of things, man. What's this? Hire great people. Hire the wrong people and tell everyone how great they are. What the f*** is this? That is... 80% of millionaires in the world are entrepreneurs? How does it take that from my... Like, it makes no sense. I hired a 23-year-old Colombian man with no experience but great judgment. He is now my most valuable employee. What the f*** is this? How does it work so well in your account but not mine? I'm four days away from quitting my job. I love what I do, but it's time to make a change. <laughs> what the f***? At 29, I bought a house. At 31, I... <laughs> that is the dumbest tweet I've ever seen. That's... <laughs> Dude, I am the 1%, bro. Look at me. Oh, this is so good. This is so funny. Who else do we have to check out on this? AI tweet generator. No context, Loco. Just tweet the house one. Winter Gaming. Is that his account or is it Winter Starcraft? No, it's Winter Starcraft. Six trait of the most productive people. What are these all hashtag entrepreneur based things, man? He gets the same shit as me. Five quick hacks to be more productive. Three things I wish I'd known when I was 20. This, I don't think this is AI generated some of this, man. Maybe it is. There's no way this is something Winter would tweet, though. But for you, it actually works like that, Fear Dragon? What if you had to make four videos per day for a year straight, back-to-back -back with three hours in between each one? Would you be able to handle it? I would have never thought that two weeks after the WCS finals, the WCS Pro Circuit would be running an offline qualifier. <laughs> I love all the dramatic, like, white lines, and then, like, one, one, like... I am so smart, I'm gonna make you think type of lines, right? It, it's so good. If you play against SOS and TY in a best of five and TI wins, then what? TI wins. <laughs> the guy in Twitch chat who kept telling me Serral was going to lose got first place. The guy in Twitch chat who kept telling me Serral was going to lose got first I'm considering quitting my job to focus on content full-time, but I need money! <laughs> that is so good! For you, it actually works. For some reason, it doesn't work for me, man. It's so funny. It actually takes, like, StarCraft terms, though, because it... Ah, oh, it's so good. It is... 7.50 p.m. over here for me. It's dark outside, man. Look, if I take off the lights... There it is. Whoa, so much contrast on my monitor. Not used to seeing all these colors. Might be time to upgrade to OLED or something, guys. It's actually crazy. There's a lot of bleed from these lights on the screen. Maybe the screens in general just have it. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. Loco, who's that behind you? Ah, just the ghost of whoever owned this place before me. Just the previous house owners, guys. I'm still getting mail from the previous house owners, by the way. Recently, I got one of those, you have to make payment very soon, because otherwise we're going to take you to court payment reminders. So I let him know. I took a picture. He didn't get a response. It was a bit weird. I was like, hey, uh, you might want to get this sorted. But uh... <clears throat> yeah, I get mail from them still. It's been like five years. I remember very specifically when we uh, when we first moved in here, like right before we um, we had like actually like we had coffee at the people that moved, you know, that lived here before us because I figured it'd be nice to, you know, maybe know if there's anything we should know about the place. And uh, I remember them very specifically complaining about the fact that they were moving into a place that was a little bit cheaper and stuff because it was like easier for them to afford and blah, blah, blah. Right. And I swear to God, especially the first three years or so that we lived here. Every week, like, three different types of magazines would arrive at my doormat. And 
I must have I must have received thousands and thousands of euros worth of magazine subscriptions that these people were subscribed to. And I let them know. I, I let them know, but at some point, like, I had a pile this big and I just yeeted it all away. And we spent a whole lot of time trying to, like, unsubscribe from their f***ing subscription services because they wouldn't do it. Just, uh, the weirdest stuff. Yeah, like, I, I don't get it. Like, it was so weird. It's actually hard to, what like, unsubscribe. when an old person keeps calling even when you throw away their phone call? A boomerang. What's it called when an old person keeps calling you even when you throw away their phone call? A boomerang? Oh my god. <laughs> That's so dumb. It's actually tricky. Like, if you, if you receive a lot of mail from the previous, like, people that lived in your place, what the f*** do you do? Like, after letting them know, like, three times, like, hey, we are still receiving sh We were even getting, like, payment, like, notifications of their jobs and everything for, for the longest time. That's luckily no longer the case, but like, we were getting basically everything, and we're still getting some. It's a bit silly. But hey, you burn it, get a shredder loco. Yeah, but I tried to not be a dick about it, right? But like, it's now literally been nearly five no years, and I'm still book. getting mail from them. It's, of course, it's hard to unsubscribe. Yeah, yeah, I get that, but I don't want to receive all this junk. <laughs> Yes, yes. How'd you like that, huh? When someone fights back, they're too many. They'll keep coming if we don't go. Go if you want. This is my ground now. This is where they die. Oh my God, dude, Amish. I'll kill you. You're dead. Oh yes, come then. Show me how you'll do it. That's a good shot. Come on. Oh yes, come then. Show me how you'll do it. That's a good shot. Come on. Jeez. Good dog. <laughs> Stop now. She's just a kid playing a grown up. Yeah. Just a kid that's killing you. Patience. Ow. Amicia, no. Amicia, don't tell me I have to do all of this over again. Oh, full plate I'll armor. Wait, I'll teach you to kill my men? Wait. Don't think we're done with you yet. No problem. Hide under that car before they see you. I'll handle them. Can I? What do you want me to do? Sorry, you said you will handle them. Hey guys! Where are the people you're looking for? Oh, maybe I should hide. Maybe that's what he's saying. So walking up to the guards is not what he was... Okay, alright, I see, I see. Come on. Amicia, I know. Shh. Excuse me, what do you want? Have you checked that group over there? Some of them joined us recently. Not that they really look like your fugitives, but who knows? I'm not a monster, just a mass murderer and a psychopath. Yeah, we need more bat. Uh, we we need more men. Yeah, yeah, I agree. God. Oh no, it's a rat NATO! A ratalange! Hugo! No! Oh, oh Lord! Lord! We have to get out of here! Loot? Never mind. For once, I wanted to check a section for loot. Fine, fine, fine. I picked the wrong time. This is no time to falter. Why didn't you just crit with that, dude? 
I'm sure I'll heal something good for what the <laughs> me man. I I crit heal a one and then I heal a zero. The plus zero heal coming in clutch. Oh, okay, didn't die. Are you kidding me? That's not fun. Why did you... Ah. I am getting seriously unlucky today. Please, please do a self-heal. Ah. Dude, so unlucky. He's still gonna AoE. An interminable conflict. I'm sure he will heal now, right? Die! If like he's a bit, uh, he just come on, heal yourself. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. He's taking so much damage now. It triggers a death roll every time. He survived so many. Are you kidding? All right, all right. Now, now for the actual boss fight. Now for the actual boss fight. That wasn't the boss fight. The boss fight's coming up next. No, no, we're not running. This is a scouting mission. I'm gonna need you to do a sick self heal, mate. Oh my god. It's taking so much damage. Miss. <laughs> Man. Next level. I did ask for a six self heal. No, 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 a six self heal. No, 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 we're not giving up, chat. I see some of you already giving up. No, 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 no. This is gonna be an easy win. Once again, teetering on that terrible precipice. Yeah, we are teetering on that terrible precipice. That is true. Come on. Dude, the heals are so low. Are you kidding me? Just insane how, like, you know what? If I have my terrible RNG here, that must mean that it evens out over time, right? Copia? Like, plus three is like the biggest heal we've seen over the last while. That's how that works, 100%. Okay, we're gonna get a stressed out moment. It's a rare and wonderful thing. The relationship is tested. Yikes, they used to be BFFs. The slowest and deadliest poison of them all. Man, I've been playing for like two hours. I've achieved absolutely nothing today. Other than a little bit of knowledge. Let us hope they find peace. An unforeseen complication. The domino, they're falling. I did learn about late game candle spending. Yeah, I learned of that. And how to waste all your candles in the current moment. A Garing Dutch, the last to go. All set back. Uh, yeah, we did learn a lot about beating meat in this run. So, you know, it wasn't all... It, it wasn't all a waste. Try and try again. One candle? You Two candles! This Pog? 
Pog? Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> Guys? Is your microphone arm supposed to do this? Ah! Well done. <laughs> Okay, first off, step one, I'm gonna move the cat. Okay, so this is supposed to go on the side of my desk so the microphone doesn't fall. Can you still hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. It doesn't do its job. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Okay, alright. Are we okay now? I think this will do the trick. Are we good? Do I still sound okay now? Yes, here we go, here we go. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it, but not earn it. Why make something most demanding manly sound, if it but... just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland things? That was not my most manly sound I've ever made, but we made it. <laughs> An anonymous gifter just gave a sub to Bennett Foddy. Congratulations, Bennett. Now I know, most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby That's bird me. being fed chewed up food. That's me! That's culture too. How do you like it now when he talks to you? Huh? Not so funny now, is it? Ah, oh, got him, dude. I wish I had 10 million views. Bennett knew exactly what he was doing. Would it be a deck, a duck nana? Or a bannock? I'm more of a... Duck nana myself. You think it's a bannock? Mm. Oh. <gasps> the soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. Who the f is John Vance Cheney? Okay. Don't hit, please. Ay, 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 ay. Bafflement and vexation. There we go. What? No! Bro! I'm gonna have to skip her turn, which is gonna make her... Actually, no. We can use that instead. Okay. Self-reliance is a rare That's and actually really quite good. Thing. Forget about that one. Okay, we'll yeah, miss that, but it's okay. Defender, I guess. At least she can still still heal. No, I'm gonna have to use reflection. Yeah, the third in is not easy to get to. Doable. Well, we still have to get to the in after this too, guys. It's not like we're already... Even if we make this fight with everyone alive, we still need to get to the in. If there's a round three in this fight, that would be mental. Come on, Loco, get lucky for once. All right. Okay. A simple okay. variable. Not bad, eh? Not bad, eh? An unexpected find. Hey, Loco, how did you become a streamer? Are you the son of a streamer, or were you appointed by God? Both, actually. Her professor was a relic. Hacking and wheezing his way through a hopelessly conventional curriculum. The f I can either use a heated rebuttal or a review notes. Heated rebuttal! Oh no. He's lecturing me. Wait, that's the witch doctor? I'm gonna review my notes real quick. This is backstory on the characters, that's what it is. He just put a conclusion on me. 
No way, bro. Counter argument. Counter. Coughing fit? That's good. That's good. Guys, guys, coughing fit. That's fantastic. The old man I'm arguing with is just about to die. <laughs> My rebuttal is so heated that he doesn't even know what to do about it. Oh, no. They were laughing at me. They were laughing at me. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. I might fail. No way, bro! It is a difficult thing to face. Did I just not get my f thing? To reconcile with it. Are you kidding me? I was at like 3 out of 10. I was at like 3 out of 10. Bro, this game is so bull****, man. I rushed it. Man, that was so bull****. Oh my god. That's so mean. I needed to review one more note? Yeah, evidently. In hindsight, I know that. Um, I mean, this looks awfully wobbly. Can I... What's going on? Why is the wood moving? That's what she... No, no. What? New type of jet... No, dude. I know. I, yeah, sure. The heat. It's called hot air, loco. Have you guys ever seen hot air in real life? Wait, we're almost there. If it's supposed to be wind or hot air, everything should be moving like that. There's no way, man. All right, uh, Dorothy. Um, Dorothy has a has a Bruce on her. Okay. Hover the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises, and interact with them to record them onto the clipboard. Why is she smoking? Huh? Bro, stop. <laughs> Guys, what are you bro? I don't want to play this. Okay, fine. I'll play a little bit. This sucks. <sighs> Jesus. Oh. Ah! Oh. Me, man. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. We'll get started with what? What am I doing? You'll die here. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y yeah, <laughs> I'm fine. That was fine. Sorry. That was fine, Jet. We totally did not hear someone say you'll die here. Nah, 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 nah. It's it's fine. It's it's all right. What am, what do, what do I even do? She's got a beautiful smile. <gasps> That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. <sighs> I'll try it with more rhythm next time. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, all right. We're fixing her up, guys. Lovely. And I guess I need the tubing as well, right? All right. This is your day job? Bit strange, but important. Sure. <gasps> He's okay with all this shit. Do you blink? Hey! Do you- I don't think he blinks. Oh! Mate, I did something wrong! We'll just look out of the window for a bit. All 
Alright, alright, alright. We're just exchanging some of the fluids. Are we good? I think we're good, man. I think that was about enough. Yeah, turn the pump off, remove the tubes, and close the incision. How do I close it? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I just... Perfect! That was easy. Loco, you screaming and cringing made my last work call very hard for me. It's funny because after all these years of playing video games, I, I don't think I'm particularly squeamish, but like this is this is very uncomfortable for me. Then insert trocar. How do I insert anything into the abdominal cavity, guys? Do we just yeet it in there? I guess it doesn't matter if it's not sterile. We we'll just yeet it in there. Up. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> A little bit over there. Bro, that's not even the abdominal cavity, man. Oh my god. This game is horrible. There we go. There we go, Dorothy! <sighs> Look out of the window to get some fresh air, Kappa. <sighs> Thank you, Figaro. Okay, I think we're good. And then I gotta apply moisturizer. A wipe used to moisturize the skin of the diseased. Alright. Take over from here. Uh, are you sure? I, I just got here. Don't worry. All You're doing this. great. Do I feel any different yet now that I'm 30? I found out I am basically still squeamish today. I didn't know that either, but. Ah! F you, man. Why does that thing not work? Well, that isn't right. I don't think that's supposed to happen. It is kind of funny, though, that most guys in the chat are more squeamish for a game like this, which is quite literally just a regular conventional job. But as long as we're playing games where we chop head after head, everyone's like, yes, go! Hit him in the balls next time, loco! Like, I, I almost feel like by playing this game that I am, like, breaking the Twitch terms of service or something like that, you know? Because it's, it's kind of f***ed up. But, like... Somehow, we're not bothered by s other games that are significantly more terrifying. I've never been to Japan. But Japan seems pretty cool. Cooperation is the aye, aye, aye. No, no, no. Do you guys know there's more to Japan than just anime? And hentai. Alright, here's the plan, guys. We go past the lair. We beat the lair, kill the boss, go to the shrine, unlock a new ability, get to the inn, retire the party. Right? That's a good plan in theory. Why retire? So I get a bunch of candles that I can use to upgrade my dudes. Alright, Nepper's still going to town, by the way. But even if you kill the boss, it still doesn't matter as far as I know. Do not despair. There is nobility in the attempt. So, the candles, they don't seem to make my characters much better, though. Like, they're making my, my runs overall ever so slightly stronger, but at this rate, I'm gonna have to do, like, a hundred before I feel any noticeable difference. How many souls are lost yeah, if you die, you're, if, if you, die, you just get plus one. Obscurity. Or maybe plus two if you've already done one of the objectives. <sighs> Hello? Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. 
So we gotta figure out if there's anything interesting. You wanna see the absolute unit that is Milo? <laughs> Superman. Do you think insurance covers it if my cats destroy my monitor? Here's the first contribution for the new monitor. Thank you very much, Buddy Warren. I don't think they cover anything if your cats or animals or pets in general destroy anything. What about this one? This one's different. Oh, no, not the right shape. It's all right. Just keep looking. Thank you, King Gammon, as well. For the support. Oh no. Um, we're going behind the monitor now? That's where the cables are? <laughs> Buddy. He's getting annoyed because he keeps wagging his tail. Which generally means that, you know, they're ready to bite and at the very least claw their way out of the situation. I think I'm best. I'm best gonna move him, guys. The florist. The herbalist's wife. Oh, no. They killed her. Oh, no. Bastards. She's already dead, she Toby. Gentle. No reason to paw at the lady. I don't know if he's gonna show you his tail wagon. No, no, we're good. Okay. I'm invisible. Not even here, lads. Just let it be. Spread out. Search the area. They won't stay hidden for long. Guys, like, look. The, the game, it, it's got its upsides, man. Like, some of the parts of this game are so strong. But then, this is just... They took the really to the guard this. AI from like 2002. I've played games that, that from, from literally two decades ago that were. It's a bit of a shame, though. It really is. With better guard AI, I feel like this this game would be so much more enjoyable. Like I would still have 17 no, question marks every you know, hour, but it would be impossible to not get these kind of situations, Loco. Okay then. The guards in Half-Life One were a little little funny too. But, honestly, the ones in this game are funnier than the ones in Half-Life 1. At least in Black Mesa. Maybe in the original it was worse. Milo said he worked for the Countess. She and the Count probably gave him this place. A piece of land and the right to sell people. In return for a share of the coin. Yes. Dirty business. I think if you put this on a higher difficulty level, you're just gonna get really frustrated by the inconsistencies. At least I would. Like, my head is literally sticking out of the grass the entire time. I should chase the low blind emote. Just one of those guys. Just a screenshot of one of these guards. Oh. Come on! Aim up! Are you kidding me right now, bro? My character couldn't aim up any further than that. Yeah, that's true. There are a lot of these sneaky scenes where you have to spend like 20 minutes. I was literally never here. There are a lot of games where you have to do a little bit of sneaking, but it's not so often. Sophia! Sophia just came walking!